Exploration was once Cold War and space race, but that's all history. Now it's about resources beyond planet Earth and discovery of worlds yet to come. Carnegie Mellon robots have been on land, sea, air, underwater, and underground. The next right destination is space. We are the only university affiliated with the team going to the moon. As machines and computers increasingly influence day-to-day -day life, the intersection of natural intelligence and artificial intelligence will continue to play a huge role. So we frame this conversation in Davos in several sessions by talking about how to bring the two together. One of the things that's most exciting about being here in Davos is the welcome that we've received for the message of integration between people and technology and how essential that integration is to a healthy future for all of us. In one of the CMU sessions, an iPad mini was to use to control the rover in real time and uh, the iPad mini was passed around to the audience from Davos, Switzerland. The rover that's moving around currently in a simulated moon landscape. Moving forward from Davos, we look forward to further shaping the entire field of robotics and its impact on all the global citizens and many, many scientific discoveries uh, that are yet to come.